All right, who has two thumbs and just learned King of the Fairies? This guy, well actually, you guys. One, two, one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome to today's fiddle lesson video. I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. Today's fiddle tune is a bit of a doozy. There's a lot going on. It's a hornpipe. I don't know if you know about hornpipes, but it's super pretty, definitely worth it. So let's go for it. The tune we're learning today is called The King of the Fairies and it is an Irish hornpipe. It's one of those hornpipes that you hear at sessions a lot. So you know if you're one of those people who wants to be cool like the Irish session crowd because as we all know playing traditional Irish music is very cool. It makes you a cool person like me. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks to go along with this video you can get them at the link in the description. You'll get the tune, a variation, harmony, and a chord chart in case you have any guitarists lying around your house. You'll also find the tune color-coded by string with the fingerings. All right, no more procrastinating. We're gonna get down to business and learn the tune. So let's start out by figuring out what key signature we're in so that we know where our left hand fingers are going to land. We are in the key of E Dorian. So you're gonna start this off with your first finger on the D string and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three, A, one, two, E. We also have some notes we're going to be playing on the E string, so let's play those as well. So we're starting with E, 1, low 2, and 3. Okay, so now we know our key signature. Let's figure out our time signature for the tune. This tune is in 4-4 time. That means there are four quarter notes in each measure. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you might know that reels and marches are also in 4-4 time. However, hornpipes have a bit of a different feel to them. Instead of dividing those quarter notes equally, so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, we're going to be swinging those eighth notes. So it's a little bit closer to a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. Here's what I mean by that. Instead of going one and two and three and four and, we're gonna go So that's kind of the groove that we're going for. 
it. It's this long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short feel. All right, we've got our key signature, we've got our time signature and kind of the groove of the tune. Let's start learning it. As always, I'm gonna be teaching this tune by call and response, so we'll be learning it by ear. I'll play a small phrase and then you can try playing it back. I'll play it three times through and the second time, I'll give you the finger numbers and put the sheet music up on the screen. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first part, and a B part, which is the second part. Let's start off, as always, with the A part. So the first phrase of the A part is gonna start with your second finger on the G string, and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three. Here are the finger numbers for that part. Two, one, D, one, two, three, two, three, A, one, one, three. One more time. The next phrase of the tune starts with your third finger on the D string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers, three, A, one, 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 three, one, two, three, two, one, D. One more time. The next phrase starts with that second finger on the G again, and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers, two, one, D, one, two, three, two, three, A, one, A, three, one, three. One more time. And the last phrase of the A part, we're already there, starts with your low second finger on the A string. One, two, three. Finger numbers, low two, one, one, three, two, one, D, one. Last time. And that's the entire A part. Let's see if we can string all of that together. So here we go. Starting with that second finger on the G. One, two, three. Congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back, go get yourself an Irish coffee. I think that has alcohol in it, so maybe like wait till you've learned the tune. Although it might help actually. So moving on to the B part, we're gonna start with a phrase that begins with your third finger on the A string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers. One, one, three, E, one, low two, three, low two, one, E. The multitasking, you guys, it's like 99% of my job. The next phrase starts with your first finger on the E string and it'll go a little something like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, one E, one, one A, one, two, three, E, three, two, one, two, three, one. Last time. The 
The next phrase is very similar to the first phrase of the B part. It starts this time though with just your open E. So we're leaving off that first note and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, E, one, one, three, E, one, low two, three, low two, one, E. The next phrase starts with your third finger on the A string and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, three, one, three, E, low two, one, E, three, one, E. You know like when you're hiking a mountain and everyone's like, you're almost there, keep going, and like you're totally not almost there, you're actually kind of almost there. Let's play the first half of the B part, just stringing together everything we've got so far. It's gonna start with that third finger on the A string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Okay, moving into the home stretch. We're gonna start on that open E string for the next phrase and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers, E one, low two, E one, three, E three, one, two, three. Next phrase, we'll start with your open E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, E three, one, A, two, three, A, one, two, three, one, A, two, three, two, one, penultimate phrase starts with your second finger on the G and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, two, one, one, two, three, A, one, E, E. your first finger on the E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers. One E, one, one, You did it guys. Let's play all of that second half of the B part starting with the open E string. One, two, three. who has two thumbs and just learned King of the Fairies? This guy, well actually, you guys. You've now learned the whole tune. If you want to go back to the beginning and play the whole thing along with me, you can do that. However, if you like, 
you can add some fancy dancy things to this tune, which I will proceed to demonstrate. This is the variation on the tune that I wrote. Again, if you want the sheet music for it, you can get it at the link in the description. We're gonna be adding a roll, which is an Irish ornament, some slides, also a few little melodic variations. We're gonna start right off with the roll, and this is what the phrase is gonna sound like. <laughs> Did you hear that little? That's the roll. A roll is a five note ornament. You might have heard me talk about this in some of my other lessons. It starts with a principal note, goes a note above, back to the principal note, to the note below, back to the principal note. In this case, we're starting with our first finger, so it's gonna go one, two, one, open, one. And you wanna kind of hold on to that first note a little longer and then smoosh the rest of the notes at the end of the roll. So it's gonna go. And you can do that faster and faster. So again, here's how it'll be in the phrase. Moving on, we're gonna get to a little melodic variation. It's gonna go like this. Triplety things. Two, three, two, and then one, two, one, and then just the normal tune. So it goes like this. So again, here is that phrase. Moving on, we're gonna play just the normal tune. going to add a first finger slide. Slides usually start a half step below the note and then wind up on the note that you're aiming for. And you want it to be kind of quick rather than... You can throw in those first finger slides kind of throughout the tune. So if you're listening to the way that I play it, you might hear a few other times that I do it. Here's that whole A part with those ornaments. So it'll go roll slide if you want, melodic variation, slide. In the B part it's going to take us a little while before we get to a variation. So we'll go all the way through this. another melodic variation which will sound like this. That's so pretty. So this is replacing the part that went it'll go E1 and then we've got low two three four three low two and then one low two three, low two, one. So, here's that phrase one more time. And then we'll just play our way to the end. Or something like that. Here's the B part all the way through with that melodic variation. One, two,
is the entire variation. If you want to play it along with me, you can scroll back to the beginning of the video and play it along with the recording. All right, you guys, that is all for today. You have learned a challenging tune. Great job. Now you can go out and impress all your friends, at least impress, you know, your friends at the Irish session. And I mean, who else is worth impressing anyway? Again, if you want sheet music and practice tracks for this tune, you can get them at the link in the description. You'll get the tune, variation, and a harmony, and a chord chart, and the tune color-coded by string with the fingerings. Plus, you get the chance to vote on topics for my future videos. And if you want to leave me a one-time tip to support my free fiddle videos out of the kindness of your generous, wonderful hearts. You'll also find a link for that in the description. Totally no obligation, of course. I love making these videos for you guys, and I'm glad you're here. Have a wonderful day, and happy fiddling. Bye.